Are you a chemist looking to find the percent composition of calcium, oxygen, and hydrogen in calcium hydroxide? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Let's use this table to help us organize our thoughts. And the first step, remember, is to find the mass of the total compound. Bam. So the first thing is we're going to identify the elements in the compound, right? So we have calcium, Ca, we have oxygen, O, and we have hydrogen, H. Next thing is to identify the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So the subscript at the bottom of here of calcium, it's not a zero, it is a one. So if nothing's written in there, it is a one. That means we have one atom of calcium. Now for oxygen, oxygen is part of the polyatomic anion hydroxide. Now in each hydroxide, you have one oxygen, but wait a minute, you have two hydroxides overall, so that means you should have a total of two oxygens. In other words, you can take the subscript of oxygen and simply multiply it by the subscript there on the outside. So that would be a total of two. Right? And then for hydrogen now, you would do the same thing, subscript of one, but you got two hydroxides, so therefore there should be two hydrogens. Now we're simply going to take those number of atoms and then multiply it by the mass of the element. Where do we find the mass of the elements? You got it. Periodic table. Let's take a look. So we got calcium here, hydrogen, and oxygen. All right, so calcium is 40.08, hydrogen is 1.01, .01, and oxygen is 16. Those represent gram per mole if you're finding molar mass, or AMU if you're finding molecular mass. So let's write them in. So calcium is 40.08. Oxygen has a value of 16, and then hydrogen has a value of 1.01, .01, okay? So we just write the masses of those elements singularly. And then what we're going to do to find the total mass of the element of the compound, now that's where we start multiplying the row across. So now we start taking into account then the number of atoms, all right? So uh, 40.08 for the first, right? This is 2 times 16. That's easy. So total amount of mass uh, for oxygen is about 32, okay? Not 36, as I was just about to write. And this is going to be 2.02, .02, all right, the total mass of hydrogen there. To find now the mass in the entire compound, all you got to do, just add this column together now. Take all the total mass, add them together. So this works out to be about 74.10. So now this was the first step in finding that percent composition, right? We needed to first find the total mass. Now that we know the total mass, let's find the percents. I'm going to add another column to the table. Bam. So to find the mass percent of now calcium, just simply take the total amount of calcium here, 40.08. And then you're going to divide it. Let me make the 8 a little neater. Well, I don't know what the heck happened there, right? 40.08. And then divide it now by the total mass of the compound. That's why we needed to do that first. So we have 74.10. And then simply multiply it by 100. If you notice, this is a very simple percent calculation. Part over whole times 100. And when we do the math there, right, it's going to work out to be about 54.09. All right, considering rounding. So that's the percent of calcium in calcium hydroxide. How about the percent of oxygen? We'll simply take now the total amount of oxygen, not the molar mass of oxygen. You got to take the total, so that's why we need to take into account the number of atoms. Right? We're going to do 32 divided then by 74.10, multiply that by 100, simple percent formula, and this works out to be then 43.18%. And that takes care of that. And then last but not least, we're going to do hydrogen, so this is 2.02. .02. And then the total mass, that is, of hydrogen, divided by then the total mass of the compound, 74.10. Multiply that bad boy by 10. Not 10. What? 100. Do not, don't do as I say. Do as I do. So the percent here will now be 2.73 or so percent. All right, so that's the percent composition of hydrogen or the mass percent of hydrogen. Now what you should do uh, in order to just maybe double check, see if you made any silly mistakes, what should happen is this should add up to 100%. Did I check? No, but I think you should. Again, that time now, do as I say, don't do as I do. Guys, thanks for very much for doing it. I really do appreciate it. I hope this helped. And if it did, like and subscribe if you can. We're trying to produce a ton of videos out there for you. Different subjects, physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics. All right, more stuff to come. Take care.